Today we are making shrimp ceviche, one of the most refreshingly delicious foods there is. We filmed this in the summer when the temperatures were in the high 90s in New York City and turning on the oven or stove was the last thing we wanted to do. All you need to make ceviche is a knife and some thyme. For this recipe we are using shrimp but any assortment of shellfish or firm ocean fish will do. Rather than cooking the shrimp with heat, ceviche cooks it with acid and in this case lime juice. If you're a bit squeamish of raw fish, you can pre-cook it and it will still be delicious but the texture won't be quite as good. Let's get to it. To start, we are going to need 14 limes and one orange. Zest half the limes and the orange and set that aside. Now that your kitchen smells amazing, cut all this citrus in half and get a nice forearm workout by squeezing it all into a large bowl. Here we have a pound of frozen shrimp. In general, for ceviche, it's better to go with frozen fish for safety reasons. You really don't know how long that seafood has been sitting out at the grocery store, whereas frozen seafood is deep frozen as soon as it's caught, killing any germs or parasites. To thaw, place the frozen shrimp in a bowl and run cold water over it until thawed enough to peel. Cut your shrimp into even small round quarter inch pieces like so and add it to the acid bath. Give it a nice stir, cover it with plastic wrap and place in the fridge for around 4 hours to marinate. Once the shrimp is marinated, you'll know the acid has done its job when the shrimp has become firm and opaque like this. Now that the shrimp is cooked, it's time to add in some vegetables to bring in more variety of flavors and textures. First, finely dice one large red onion. Next, we'll finely dice four jalapenos. We don't want the ribs or seeds for this recipe, so to cut, we'll first cut the stem end off, stand it up on that flat surface, and cut vertically around the outside. Cut across these strips into a fine dice and add it to your bowl. Wash your hands thoroughly after all that jalapeno time and finally dice a cucumber with the seeds scooped out. This will bring some lovely fresh crunchiness to the ceviche when we dig in later on. Here we have one large Roma tomato. First cut it in half, then with two small diagonal cuts remove the core. Scoop out the seeds with a spoon, finally dice the tomato and add it to the bowl. Season this generously with three large pinches of kosher salt, around 20 cranks of black pepper, one tablespoon of cumin, a shake of cayenne pepper, and a tablespoon of Mexican oregano. Give this a big stir and set it back in the fridge for around 30 minutes to mellow out the raw onion and jalapeno flavor. Meanwhile, make some ice cold margaritas. Have Joey assist in making a small cut in the lime wedge for garnishing. For the home stretch, dice one large mango. First, cut down the two sides. For the middle part, I run my knife around the outside to remove the skin and cut chunks off of the pit. For the two sides, carefully cut squares into the flesh so that we can scoop it out later. It's 2020, so all of you know how to dice an avocado at this point. Tear off a bunch of cilantro leaves, roll the leaves up into a tight ball, and mow through that ball with your knife. Retrieve your ceviche from the fridge and add in your cilantro your diced mango, your diced avocado, and your citrus zest from earlier. Add two tablespoons of some good olive oil and give it a stir. Give it one final season to taste with more kosher salt and black pepper until it tastes perfect. Traditionally, it'd be served with tostadas, but we couldn't find any, so serve it with tortilla chips, some hot sauce, and of course, your margaritas. And your ceviche is done. That sweet mango, creamy avocado, tangy shrimp, crunchy cucumber all come together to make this the ultimate dish for those hot summer days. Devour with your friends, making sure to add hot sauce to each bite. And that is it. The full recipe and ingredient list are in the description down below. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.